Hello everyone, welcome back to another siege battle in the settlement that is infamous. Everyone knows it, everyone loves it, everyone hates it. It's Bertigala. And this is a 3v3. This one has been sent in to us by Emperor Candid Katsu. Uh, let's do the thing, you know. Uh, we get into the players on the battlefield, and then we quickly go over the army comps, and then we get into the fighting. Uh, so defending... We have Fluxbus as Syracuse, Echo as Bactria, and Emperor Candy Katsu as Egypt. And then we have, <laughs> as, as Boyai, we have Beeks. It's, it's B-E-E-E-E-X. Lucky Fox as Macedon, and uh, where is Macedon? Oh, we're over here. Ooh, Macedon. I don't think that's a good idea, but okay. Uh, and then ABBV as Rome. Uh, also, ooh, I don't know if this is such a good idea, Bowie Eye. Splitting up your troops like this, forcing you to micromanage. All right, uh, let's, we'll do slow-mo. We'll start with the attackers and then we'll get into the defenders. So, Mastodon, just a bunch of Thorax swords, Royal Peltus, it looks like big ballista and then we can't see anything else probably his troops over here boy eyes got sword followers over here he's got more sword followers probably Celtic bowmen somewhere and an Osworn gen or a uh, horse gen noble horse I think they get right and then Rome has general's bodyguard Ballista, and then uh, Legionary Cohort, Legionary, Legionary, Armored Legionaries, Armored, 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 Legionary, 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 okay. And then his archers are probably hiding in the trees over here somewhere. And so naturally, you leave your Ballista out like this, what's going to happen? I'm sure that Egypt will be able to knock this guy out nice and quick. Let's get into... The defenders real quick will go over Egypt. Egypt has brought with him a fuck ton of carrying axemen. Uh, three Cretan archers and one Nubian bowman. And then the rest is Galatian Royal Guard along with two Thorax Pikes. Bactria has brought with him, looks like two Bactrian Royal Guard back there. Another unit or uh, unit of Bactrian Royal Cav. We got some Thorax Pikes back there. Looks like Bactria is sallying out some Hellenic Cataphracts. Uh, it's got looks Scally Thorax Hoplites or Hoplites, as I like to call these particular units. Thorax Swords, got elite Persian Archers, pretty good unit, and uh, Thorax, Thorax, and elite Persian Archers. Syracuse is brought with him, not Galatian Royal Guard, because that's not what they get. Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. Mercenary Samnite Warriors, three of them it looks like probably. Par uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, the back rail side of the Union of Eastman Spearmen. Uh, let's see, we got Thorax Hoplites, Thorax Hoplites, Thorax Swords, Hoplites, 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 Flaric Slingers, Flaric Slingers, Flaric Slingers. Oh, he went full on. Okay, pretty sure he gets Cretans. Uh, oh no. Egypt unfortunately was not quick enough and able and, and being able to get rid of Macedon's ballista. Macedon had a lucky shot, managed to get a shot off. That is unfortunate. All right, uh, back over here, uh, and then pick hop lights as his gem. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Normal speed. <clears throat> Let's see. Factory is just uh, hanging out over here. They're probably gonna. Yeah, hopefully, they stay hidden. Both units hidden. Is the one unit not hidden? How is this unit not hidden? I don't understand. There's a giant hill and rock face here. That's uh, whatever. Maybe it is hidden. I, I don't. Know. I don't. Know. So now we're starting to move up. Macedon has picked a pretty precarious spot to attack. Um, with any luck, Bactria will turn this ballista 
and start firing into the clumps of troops here. Looks like they're also trying to knock down the wall over here. Uh, whether or not they're going to have enough ammo to actually do that is the question now, isn't it? Looks like he is manual and also auto firing. So he's going to burn through his ammo relatively quickly. Uh, so yeah. I don't know if it's a good idea, but... Boy, I still got their big ass ballista in Soldats Rome. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four units of sworn. And yeah, four units of Celtic Bowman. Some more sword followers. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I mean, uh, amazingly enough. I, it's, ooh, man. Okay, so they're, th all three are attacking this spot right here, right? Usually. At least someone would be over here to assault this section. No, this is not a section of wall. This is the ocean. Uh, to attack this section of wall, right? Just limiting yourself to this? You were boxing yourself in and handing uh, the attackers a win. Also, why are you using explosive shot? All right, looks like you changed. I, I heard it. I heard the... Oh, you like my sound effects? Uh, and now I've, I mean, Rome's just gonna, it looks like he's just gonna sit there. But it's not like Syracuse can't, because like, look where it's going. He can still get a shot off. And there it goes. Right after the Osborn unit, a good unit to act, uh, go for. Boy Eye is making his way decided that, oh, this is probably a good idea to actually try and attack over here. Unfortunately, this unit of sword followers is going to get destroyed. Uh, carry an axeman, oh, unfortunately, I don't, yeah, unfortunately they're firing. Maybe they were still on auto fire. Luckily, it's not all of them, so that's good. Boy, I going for the long shot over here, or maybe it was even Carthage. Ooh, look at this, Carthage, uh, Massillon. Factory has managed to get into the back ranks and take out the one giant ballista. So that's good. Will he be able to take out Boy Eye's ballista? I mean, looks like he's just hanging back with this unit of cab. I would try. Oh no, what's he got over here? Oh, pikeman. Oh, pikeman. Now, what is he going to do? It looks like he's probably just going to charge into the back of these units over here. But again, this is kind of a shit place to attack. As you're boxing yourself in, and you're going to get focused down by any archer that is placed up on this just beautiful chef's kiss of a vantage point for ranged units. Looks like, uh, no, it doesn't look like he managed to get anybody with that volley. And holy shit! Hoplites, pikes, we got over here, row of peltists, hoplites, and then probably a Cretans. The companion cab, Jen. Yeah, get your, get your cataphracts out of there. I, yeah, I don't even know why you have them that close. It's a terrible idea. But, these guys over here are just gonna cycle charge. Seems like in and out of some sword followers. I would probably go after this thorax sword unit that's in the shield wall, even though they're climbing up. Uh, I don't know what Mastodon's doing, but again, they're just kind of sitting tight. They're gonna get shot at. Meanwhile, over here, <laughs> Boy Eye has clearly found the error in his ways and is desperately trying to shift this unit of sword followers over in an attempt to, uh, you know, assault more, uh, but it's just, he's gonna, he's wasting his ammo, firing head on, with his pikemen, thorax pikes up front, well, I mean, I, uh, uh, uh. all right, so back to his two Hellenic cataphracts. Decided to meet up, hold hands, and fuck some shit up together. Uh, 
Rome has decided not to push up any of his other troops. Firing in, trying to get some shots, but unfortunately is missing. Looks like these Celtic bowmen are about to get focused the fuck down by the elite Persian archers. Boyai is just kind of taking his time. I, man. I understand that they're trying to soften up like these targets, but there are too many of them are behind buildings and stuff where you're not going to actually get the shot on them. Well, at least not a good shot. Harry and Axemen loosen their jabs into the sword followers unit. Uh, ooh, man, it's uh, Queen Archer's got pretty beat up there. Got some more shots coming in. See if he manages to hit anything. Nope. Two more. Did he hit anything? Ooh, he managed to get into the thorax pikes. I pulled them back. Now we got Cretans coming over here, gonna try and deal with the Nubian Bowman. He just needs to be careful or he's gonna lose this spot pretty quickly. I would at least just move them into the trees, that way they're hidden. Maybe they can still fire. One of the cataphracts have decided to split up. Armored Legionaries going in for the kill. Will Bactria notice in time? Facing the wrong way, too. Ooh, got a jab throw in. Only managed to lose, what, that two, three guys? And... Will they get it? Will they move? Nope. Unfortunately, the Legionaries managed to get in there. So, what? What? Oh yeah, it's right, he split his troops off, I forgot, Jesus. So, Boya is firing in to this group, which, yeah, go ahead, do it. Uh, you're just gonna aid the defenders, because the shots are either gonna fire, fall short and hit Mastodon, or they're gonna go a little bit too far, maybe with some of these guys and take them out, but most of the shots are gonna miss altogether. So far, uh, I mean, even though they're getting some, you know, okay artillery strikes in, I, I don't think the attackers are going to have a very good time here. Macedon is just trying to shove his way through here. He doesn't have his archers up here yet. I, ooh, man. This would be, we managed to pull them out? We did. That's good. This would be the time to go after the archers, because uh, all these other units are up on the walls. So if he can actually get there in time, which he might be able to, because all of these towers, except for this one, is is, is being used up. Uh, if he can get these cataphracts there in time, he's going to do some serious damage, and, and Aslan's going to lose his, his Cretans. No, come on. Risk it all, man. Risk it all. Go for it. What have you got to lose? These guys have basically kind of done their due diligence. <coughs> Pardon me. Trying to worry about them at this point and micro -ing. Pointless. Just get these guys up here. He actually... Oh, man. Come on. Come on. I don't know if he's paying attention with the pikes at all. But he is going to get in. How are they getting up there that quickly? Come on. How is... Are they both going up the ladder? But he managed to get into the archers. The pikes are actually... Also... What? Is that a thing that can happen? Or is it just because Boya's units are mostly up here? So now he's managed to actually get into three of... Well, all three of his units. Oh, no. He managed to get one up there. Rodian Slinger, which is not going to be the best of health. Should have at least gotten a Cretan up there first. Two of those uh, I mean, it's not a bad unit, but they just don't have the angle to really fire over the troops. These guys are going to get focused down real quick. And since they have shit for armor, uh, they're fucked. Getting into the back of the pikemen, that's also pretty huge. 
Very good. Well played on Bactria. Where's his other... Uh, yep, get him in there. Don't... Don't put him in diamond formation. That's it's too soon. Now you've just decreased your acceleration to get over here fast enough. No, leave him. Leave him. Just fucking leave him. Should have just left him. These guys got 198 kills. You could have left them there, and then it would have been worth it. So it looks like Thorax Pikes are losing. How is that happening? Must have been getting focused down from somebody. Uh, so it looks like they're just doing what they can to hold these guys back. Glacier World Guard going in. Gonna do some uh, damage. Have a brain for it. So, I can't believe Rome still is. Where's he going? Don't go for the gen. Go for the the, the, the archers. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Rodian Slingers up here have been sent out. These guys are going to be firing right into the backs of these troops. Oh, man. These guys are going to have a field day. Up to 174 kills already. 161. <clears throat> Egypt, unfortunately, is losing his one Thorax Pikes. Only 28 kills. Oof. Big yikes. Big yikes. Thorax Sowards coming over to back up the Glacier World Guard. Going against the Sword Followers. Illusionary Cohort. Uh, this lone Sword Follower unit is just going to get fucking wrecked. And, uh, yeah, Boya is not going to have a very good time. Macedon's not going to have a very good time. And Rome is now just, okay, I'm coming. Looks like the one Hellenic Cataphract unit is gone. Uh, Companion Cav, Melee Defense 26, these guys, I mean, yeah. But he still has them in, in Diamond Formation. If they weren't in Diamond Formation, they might be doing a little bit better. Probably not, though, because they already they were mildly depleted to begin with. But I mean, these archers got knocked down to pack 18, 46, and the, the other unit is gone. So he has two units of severely depleted archers, and as soon as they come up here, if Egypt has uh, the mine for it, these guys out of ammo, what about these guys? Hopefully they still have ammo if they do. Hopefully with his Cretans, he'll focus these two units down and get them out of there. And he'll severely limit what Massimon can do. He also he does have to be careful though, because he does have a unit of, uh, where are they, pikemen. Uh, just pikes, huh? Nothing, uh, no thorax pikes or anything fancy. But uh, yeah, Rome's going to be kind of the scary guys here. Oh, they got some, okay, cheeky, cheeky, some spike traps. So, Bowie Eyes firing up and over, trying to get into the Thorax Swords Glacier World Guard. Unfortunately, and I, I think this does apply, it is they're firing like past the tower. So I don't know if this like limits the amount of projectiles that actually can get over there. Who knows? Looks like are these guys? Who's firing? These guys. These guys firing? Yeah, they're firing. I mean, despite how it looks, the attackers have only made headway just because that's what the defenders allowed them to do. Um, but, the defenders still have quite a bit left. Ooh, look at this. Back to normal cab. Where are we going? 134. 170. What could he potentially be going after, though? Maybe the Macedonian general? Are they melee? What are these guys like, though? Uh, 50 out of 80. What is their melee defense? 26. We bumped up. 21. Uh, they might be able to win this, though. Let's see. That's Syracuse with Valeric Slingers firing in on. Can't tell. See, and this is why Slingers are kind of like shit. Where, where are they firing? It says that they're firing, but they're not actually they're not firing. What's 
going on? Is this like a little mosh pit that's going on here? <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's like Slayer playing in the background. These guys mock them up and right. Uh, so yeah, they're trying the fire, but they can't. This is why, uh, I guess on a, on a barbarian settlement, slingers aren't really worth it. Karen Axman going up against some legionary cohort. Karen Axman should totally win this, absolutely. No problem. They're just uh, a beast of a unit, you know, 30, 26, 39, 45. Oh, I mean, jeez. Uh, yeah, no surprise, legionary cohorts beating them. Uh, to be fair, though, I have. I did play a match against this kid once. Where it was 1v1, it was on, on Vertigala, uh, and he said, like, do, do whatever you want. Just, like, bring whatever you want, see if you can if you can crack my defense. But, okay, cool. Bring whatever I want. So I went with Anthony's Rome from the uh, Empire Divided DLC. Or no. Right? Empire Divided? I think it's Empire Divided. No, no, it's not Empire Divide. It's, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. I forget which one it is. It doesn't matter. It's the one with the, the nine different rooms that you can play as. Uh... You know, uh, Anthony's room, Octavian's room, blah, 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 blah. So I went with Anthony because you can get Syrians and Cretans. And, uh... He went with Egypt. And his whole front line here, because this is where I attacked from, his whole front line... Was Karen Axman, uh, Levy Thurio Spear, Thurio Spear, and that was it. It was just all, it was basically I was walking into a minigun of projectiles. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I lost actually. I had to end up actually leaving the, the match. I had to, I forget what the hell happened. Was, something happened where I had to leave. And I was like, ah, dinner. That's what it was. I had to go eat dinner. And I was like, oh, I gotta leave. And he's like, aha, I won. I was like, you actually did win. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. You managed to thwart back my efforts with just carrying Axemen, Levy, Thorio Spears, and other projectile units. Uh, so, so far, looks like we're having a fallback. Not a bad idea. The attackers have actually made their way broken through over here. Uh, ooh, hopefully that unit was out of ammo. Uh, so we're gonna fall back. Oh man. Balance power is pretty even. Rome still has quite a few legionary cohorts and veteran legionaries. Ooh, he has a Praetorian Guard. It must have been uh, hiding somewhere. Does he have any more Praetorian Guard? Guard. Yeah, he's got two Praetorian Guard. Uh, yeah. One Praetorian Guard, or two Praetorian Guard. Jesus Christ, how do you map? I don't know. Pikeman naturally getting focused down pretty heavily. Mastodon has had the worst luck uh, out of everyone so far in this match. Um, yeah, they're just... Uh, they just got completely held up over here by some Thorax swords. So go to Syracuse for standing firm and holding back the Macedonian wave. Meanwhile, we are yep, full on retreat mode. It's fine. Back to your oh, Jesus. <coughs> back to your still as a unit of elite Persian archers. They are firing into the sword followers. I don't know if that's... Uh, if it's on auto fire or not, because I can't see the... You know, if you, like, click on it and then... Or maybe it's just because he's not my unit. Or my... It's not from him, the replay. Uh, he, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so... 
this is gonna be, I think the defenders definitely have their work cut out for them. Interesting to see what actually happens. Um, Rome's making his way in. I mean, Rome still has a lot of troops left. I feel like what they really need to do here at this moment in time is like that they want to fall back further, but they can't until this is dealt with. Like I feel like this needs wait a second. His head is mine. Wait a second. I thought the one unit of pikes was like gone. Maybe I was wrong. Four X bikes up against some regular ass bikes. I would maybe push them forward. Ooh, look at this. Syracuse managing to get around. Very cool. Very nice. Well played. Well played. Um, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was the same unit of bikes. Who the fuck knows? Uh, but this is going to start to be a problem here. Um, unfortunately, I don't think... Did they have pikes? Yeah, I don't think Syracuse had brought pikes with them. And I don't think... Alright, so Backstreet does have pikes. Ah. Uh, God. No, he can't. I mean, he could. Oh, Jesus. Rome has full ammo for most of his... Okay, so he can't... I would have said Backstreet should bring, him, should bring up his pikes and set them down over here. But because they fell back so much, uh, he can get his archers over here and just be able to fire into the backs of the pikes. So he can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, where is Backstreet? Yeah, I was about to say, Backstreet's gen. Looks like he's going to start... No, not what I want to do. I want to space bar. Looks like he's going to... Come back into the settlement, and uh, who knows? Maybe we'll be able to get like a sneak attack on Rome's archers. That'd be pretty cool. That would be their best bet. Looks like, yep, they're gonna start to fall back. Mercenary Blair clears with 51 kills. Probably are they actually have that no, or not? They're just in a shit spot. Whoa, my God! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh no, Macedon. Ah, oh, you fool. You fool. Well, this now has been completely dealt with, and Syracuse will have the option to either A, shift troops to help reinforce this, or circle around and smash into the rear. Uh, and uh, I can speak for everyone when nobody likes it. We're gonna get smashed into the rear. Ugh. Sorry for the yawn. I am a little tired. I was up a few times last night because I have to shush my son back to sleep when he wakes up. But also, I have to feed him as well. Sometimes. <clears throat> Sorry for all the coughing and clearing my throat. Uh, this is the third video that I'm recording today. So, uh, talking is hard. <laughs> it's basically what I'm getting at here. So, hoplites against thorax hoplites, and what's the, the difference here? So, the hoplites have 34, 26, 80, and 60. 34, 30, 59, and 90. And they have better morale. You know, I wonder what's better to take the hit on the melee defense or the armor. They have 10 more armor. Yeah, they're winning. And they can be put in the hoplite wall. Now, oh, look at this. Egypt exploiting some gaps here. Macedon, if he was smart, he would have taken these Royal Peltis unit and filtered them right through. Would have been able to get in the back line. Granted, Glacier Royal Guard would have gone after him, but still. Now, what's he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna charge right in the back of these hoplites. 
mass amount of sclerosis, the overall health is going to get in there. Uh, but yeah, not before they start to lose and break. Should pop that one. Yep, yeah, there it is. So, melee defense morale and weapon melee attacks have been increased. <clears throat> So, Egypt does not have much left, but it's not surprising since he had a lot of carrying axemen. Uh, but, <clears throat> can't really... I mean, he did that so he could have some more heavy hitters. Where's his, his, his general? His general's over here. It looks like most of his Galatian Royal Guard are gone. Tells you those Thorax Pikes. Down 30 men, but... Uh, has 133 kills, so that's pretty good. Factory still has two units of archers, so that's good. Uh, Egypt has... Oh, holy shit! 308 kills. They're definitely out of ammo. So, Egypt is out of ammo. And, uh... I mean, Syracuse still has ammo with these slingers, but... I think... His best bet maybe would be to get it as a slinger up here. Because I think that they would have a good angle and they could start firing in on the Praetorian Guard here. Or even they might be able to get a good enough angle to get shots on armored legionaries. 19 minutes left in the battle replay, guys. If you are enjoying this, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, like, share, subscribe. Comment. That's it. That's the last one. Comment. <laughs> so it looks like they've been successful in pushing back Macedon on this side. Uh, and I mean, what are they going to do here? 18 guys left in this place from a guard unit. I think. Syracuse is doing a pretty good job of holding them back. I mean, this isn't going to last forever. The Sandlights are pretty, I mean, they got 95 armor. They're super tanky. Advance the speed. And, yeah, Syracuse is losing his Slingers because Rome is focusing them down. I'm telling you, Slingers in a settlement like this is no point on. Egypt's going to push up his Cretans, probably trying to bait Rome into firing at them, waste some ammo. He's got another unit over here with five kills. Uh, still have ammo, that's good. Get a Skelly Thorax top of phase over here. Hanging out. Back and now they're gonna get some shots in on Rome. OEI taking some shots. Macedon and Rome. They're just kind of hanging back over here. They're they're really putting as much of a push into this over here as they can. Probably in the hopes. Ugh. That the defenders will be forced to move troops from over here to over there. Uh, and save. Uh, I mean, Rome certainly has enough troops that they can afford to do this. So they... basically full fresh units that are ready to go so scary uh, bounce power is still pretty even <clears throat> boy I am acid on took quite the beating uh, Egypt is also taking uh, quite the beating and it's gonna really be up to uh, Syracuse and Bactria 
to hold back loan. <clears throat> What's going on? Ooh, part of me. Huh. Ooh, the pikes have been deployed. I don't think that they realize that either. Are they in battle? No. Not engaged. Defenders are pulling back though to let the pikes get in there. They're gonna have to move the pikes forward though a little bit, otherwise there's gonna be this gap here that these glacial rolls are. out of there. Switch them out with something else. I mean, you got the, the hoplites. Get the hoplites up there. Let them take some of the beating of the arrow fire. Because the pikes, I mean, their armor is 70, but... They, I mean, you know, they have tiny-ass shields. Not going to really... Charging forward. Look at that. War cry and intimidate. I don't really know why. Rome's they don't have uh really a We use that by the way. I guess the factory probably yeah, factory. Right, right. So they're gonna charge in against these pikes and with our support they might Glacial World Guard, or if they're firing at the pikes. Uh, but yeah, these, these are cohort are going to lose. So are these guys. I mean, you can keep on sending up troops into this little death trap if you want. That's your prerogative. Rome's starting to make a push over here. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> How many units is this? This is one, two, three, four. I think that may. Uh, I think that maybe I would send over thorax swords. Maybe this pike unit and these hoplites and this swords unit. To, 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 uh, this might actually be a fatal mistake on Rome's part right here. Cause I feel like that this like all, this 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 always like creeps into everyone's brain like ooh like this is a good idea they'll never expect this when in fact yeah we can fucking see you <laughs> we know you're going that way so Rome has now just shifted over four fresh full units say that four times fast away from the bat oh man tell me he's gonna keep going that way. Tell me he's gonna keep fucking going that way. Is he actually gonna move these troops over? Cause this, if, if Syracuse is paying attention, yup, Syracuse is paying attention, he's gotta get these fucking hoplites over here to hold these breaches. Rome, ugh, man, Rome might have made a fatal mistake here. Where is he going? Where is he going? Oh, I wish you could see. Okay, so he's sending these guys over here to hold them up. Alright, so not totally fatal, but you've just kind of abandoned this. And now you've given the opportunity for the, the defenders to shuffle around some troops and get some fresh troops. Ones that have rested, ones that are, aren't totally... Uh, depleted, 
and bring and, and to get them around to, to bring them over here because you know what you got uh, armor legionaries and osworn units and armor legionaries and osworn this defense over here is has been is it's fine the attackers have been stuffed and now trying to get these guys over here while they're getting shot at uh, it's just I don't know why you would pull away your best bet was to muscle your way through here that was your best best defense that was your absolute best defense I think that he should these guys might be out of ammo yep they are. So, <clears throat> because they're out of ammo, are these guys out of ammo? No, these guys still have ammo, but it doesn't matter because they're slingers. So, if Egypt had been paying attention, or if Egypt was paying attention, he could have moved these pikes up and really done a number on the armor legionaries. Um, oh man, yep, they just got over here just in time. Factory World Guard, Pick Top Lights, and Glacial World Guard coming over here to stop Rome from advancing. Again, I can't believe. I can't believe that he did that. They were having a, a, a fairly good time over here. They could have absolutely. If instead of taking his units and going this way. If he had brought his units over here instead, those four units, and came over here, he probably would have had a better time. He, he might have been able to actually bust through and get through here. Granted, these pikes are here, but they're down 60 men. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're not good forever. They'll end up getting beat up sooner or later. Now we got some, you know, Oswald going against two Thorax swords. That is this even though they are sandwiched in a, a triangle, they are able to uh, defend off both units. Glacier World Guard coming around. Uh, he was uh, calling us up. Those four units are going to try and come around, but these two depleted units of Thorax Swords are going to try and hold them up. Uh, we're all over here. Thorax Pikes are still going at it. Yeah, they're losing now. They're tired. Place rural guard in the mix of it. Uh, Thorax Pike starting to break, unfortunately, but that's okay. Thorax Hopatase still holding back these armor legionaries, so good on them. Back over here. These Thorax Swordsmen have Forward. broken, but now they're going up against the Thorax Hoplites, the Praetorian Guard. Over here, where we've got the Praetorian Guard. Armored Legionaries. Armored Legionaries. So. Um. I think that there might be enough of a gap here. Where if you call them up. And slip them through. And turn around. But of course the problem is. These guys are sitting there. Waiting for that probably to happen. So they have to wait. Nice. Okay, this is where these slingers are going to shine. Getting some great shots into the back of these Praetorian guards, aiding the Thor, Scali Thor, Hoplites. Or no, they're just regular Thor, Hoplites. My bad. Uh, the Praetorian guards are going to start incurring some losses. If he's smart, to get his other unit sling slingers up there to really get rid of them. The Praetorians are exactly, exactly what you want to get rid of as quickly as possible. Yeah, back over here. Looks like those hoplites have broken. That's okay though. Thorax Swords are gonna charge in. These guys are winded. These guys are fresh. Thorax Swords might lose, but in the process, they're gonna whittle down these armor legionaries a little bit more and they're gonna get more tired. Egypt is actually moved with this. That's tight to come over here. Looks like they're having some trouble with. The, uh, there, but they managed to kill the general. Oh, I missed it. I wonder how they managed to do that. Look at this, though. Rome's coming in to back up 
Bowie Eye. He just keeps on taking troops away from the center here. Uh, Rome really needs to, to get his guys in there. I, I think the attackers would have had a better time if Rome had managed his troops a little better. All right, so look at this. These Praetorian Guard are gone. How many kills we got for these guys? 128 and 171. Awesome. Well done. Uh, yeah, you know, you know what? At this point, maybe just uh, bring your your dudes around. Just, you know, like, yep, do that. Just bring your, bring your gash around. Bring them around. Bring them around town. Where is Bactrius General? Over here, he's probably going to 40 out of 80 guys. He's going to get to these archers for sure. Yeah, they're just uh, at this point, boy, I try to do what can to do as much damage. But I think mean, it's going to be too much to wait. Here we go. Turkey's back here and Egypt. Coming around the corner. Are we coming around the corner? Where we go? charge into an armor legionaries. Uh, hopefully one guy goes one hopefully one guy's goes one guy's goes after is the Roman general. So you know throw our stoplights probably would be best. Um here we go. Oh and it's a rear charge too. No. I mean it's not really a, a great rear charge, but yeah. Take it or leave it. Three minutes and 45 seconds left. Yeah, uh, Rome definitely left uh, Macedon and Bowie I to do the heavy lifting and did not offer them a, 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 a back brace for support. <laughs> I think if Rome had participated a little bit more in the beginning of this battle uh, more heavily at least that they would have had a better chance um, but you know they held back most of their troops back here when they the, the troops that they did get up in here they just they sat there didn't really do anything And then once Boei and Masson were like fully engaged, dealing with three factions by themselves, uh, they Rome was like, okay, yeah, now now I'll come and help. So fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Two minutes, twenty nine seconds left. I think we all know who's going to win this. I'm just going to fast forward it to the end. I mean, this really was a good. I'm genuinely impressed with. I, I'm very eager and curious to see what the kill count's going to be like on the carrying axemen. Because, uh, like, they're not a shit unit, and it's solely because they act like a Thurio spear unit or uh, whatever fucking. Arbaki, uh, Lusitani, or mercenary unit that Carthage gets that is a sword unit but can also throw their their javelins. Honestly, I wish that that was an option for all all like thorax swords, like every all the units across the board, because it should be, right? You should be able to do that. Um, unfortunately, you cannot. There we go. Rome is done for, and that is going to be the end. Uh, yeah, it would be nice to be able to select fire with your javelins uh, for all units. It would just be very, very convenient and very nice. All right, so we'll start with Flexbus here with 2,417 kills. Uh, Let's see, he's General 102, 66 for his archers, 219, 35, and 166 for his slingers. 
Uh, they did good, I guess, in, in, in the late game. I didn't really uh, pay attention to them too much. Sam Knights, 41-24 and 205. Uh, Mercenary Veteran Hoplites, 45-0. and zero. Didn't have to get into the mix of things. Uh, 127, 100, 270, 46, 106 for his thorax hoplites. Uh, 244, 255, uh, 107, 107, and 53 for his thorax swords. So nice uh, numbers on those first four units. Echo with 2,900, uh, 2,097 kills. 200 for his back from the little cab. 223 for his haunted cataphracts, and 85 for his other one. 140, 110, 93, and 222 for his elite Persian archers. 54 and 43 for his Baxter Guard. Guard. Uh, two for his Eastern Spearmen. 85 for his Scaly Thorax Hoplites. 272 and 245 for his Pikes. And then 89, 60, 94, 24, and 56 for his Thorax Swords. And for Kenny Katsu, got <clears throat> 2,429 kills. 222 for his General. 113, 68. 322 for his Cretans, and then 70, 173 for his Nubians. Uh, 183, 62, 252, and 164 for his Galatian Royal Guards, and then his Carrion Axemen. 39, 152, that's uh, surprising, actually, impressive. 18, 28, 43, 124, wow. 53, 74, not bad, 107. All right, so pretty good for 1, 2, 3, and, uh, yeah, I'll say 4 units. Pretty good. Uh, and then 52 and 80 for his two pikes. <clears throat> for historic spikes. BX. Uh, 2,861 kills, getting the most out of everyone. 45 for his gen. Wow, his gen got chewed up. Uh, 303, 223, and 122 for his Osorn. 134 for his Greek uh, Ballista, or Greek Celtic, I mean. 24, 106, 45, and 83 for his Bowman. 208, uh, 140, 124, 194, 84, 161, 77. 275, 158, 178, and 177 for his sword followers. Lucky Fox, unfortunately, only getting 962 kills. 101 for his gen. Zero for his ballista. 18, uh, really? Zero? Uh, 18, 17, and 90 for his range units. And then zero for his slingers. Jeez, tough. That's rough, buddy. Uh, 58 and 72 for his hoplites. 48, 53, and then 60 for his royal Balthus. He just did not have a good time. He he might have been a newer player. 99, 24, 65, 62, 31, 43, and 64 for his Dorak Swords, and then 26 and 31 for his Pikes. And then ABBV, 1,936 kills. One for his Gen, 173 for his Ballista, 45 for his Slingers, 158, 103, and 159 for his uh, Range Units. <clears throat> 80, 118. 30, 60, 57, 0, and 199 for Armored Legionaries, and then 11, 163, 181, 47, and 119 for Legionary Cohort, and then 174 and 158 for his Praetorian Guard. Uh, yeah, I really think that they would have had a better time if Rome had helped out sooner. Because uh, once, once Mastodon got, like, wiped, that was kind of the beginning of the end. But, guys, if you enjoyed this one, uh, don't forget, I know I already said it, but please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that cool stuff. Helps the channel out, and I myself do appreciate it. Uh, it gives me a little warm, fuzzy feeling where my heart should be, uh, or soul, or conscience, whatever you choose to go with. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, this was a fun one to watch. Uh, again, this was a very interesting build. Uh, I mean, when the screen loaded, you know, when you do a loading screen, when you're loading up a replay, you get to see at least one army comp. So seeing this, I was like, all right, let's see how this fucking works out. And it worked out pretty good. Uh, so kudos and thank you to Emperor Candy Katsu for sending this one in. All right, guys, so that's it for me. I will catch you in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts, later on.